Welcome to the Sports Arena on US TV. I am Bina here on North Lee. Like I always said, you are always, always welcome to the show. Trust us to always keep you updated. But quickly, in tennis, Novak Djokovic will finish 2021 as the world's number one. But the seven star has been warned that the players below him are being daunted by the seven's legacy. He will finish the year as world's number one for a record breaking seven times. He has 20 Grand Slam titles to his name and is currently the dominant force in the world of tennis. Not surprising, anyways. But Novak, jo but Novak Djokovic has been warned that younger players are no longer intimidated by him. Why is that so? The tennis star has endured a roller coaster year, winning the Australian Open, French Open, and at Wimbledon before faltering in sight of a golden slam as he missed out on the Olympic and US Open titles. The 34 year old got back on his feet to take the Paris Masters title this month before another defeat to German player Zverev and then his 8 year finals campaign at the semi final stage. His participation in Germany's Australian Open remains in serious doubt, with organizers confirming that all vaccinated players will not be permitted to play in Melbourne. Djokovic has long refused to disclose his vaccination status, which has been widely viewed as an admission he is yet to receive his jabs. Well, that's not all. In football, Manchester United are hopeful for reaching an agreement with Lokomotiv Moscow for Ralph Rangnick to become the club's interim manager in the next 24 to 48 hours. Negotiations between the clubs have been positive, with Rangnick currently manager of sports and development at the Russian club. Rangnick will apply for a work permit once an agreement is reached, with the German expected to remain at United for two years beyond the season in a consultancy role. Will he be the savior Manchester United has always been waiting for? Of course, you can always uh, give us your reactions in our comments section because, I, like I always say, our fingers are crossed. It is the opinion of many that sentiments have been holding the club back in hiring a top-class coach. That Manchester United should not dwell in past glories unless they are doomed if immediate action does not take place. Well, we have it here. Like I always say, our fingers are always crossed. The conversation doesn't end yet. Trust us, like I always say, we'll keep you updated and updated. And show you plus across our social media platforms YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Dress TV, and Jack. So, like, come your way again. Stay agile.